Hi everybody, welcome to Tunes Reviews. Today we're going to talk about Comme des Garçons Black, released in 2013. Comme des Garçons Black comes in one size that I've seen available, and that is this boy right here, the 3.4 ounce. And it will cost you $110 American. I've seen this at Lucky Scent, and that is it. Comme des Garçons Black is a really fascinating fragrance, and for me, um, has a lot of nostalgia based on the fact that I know that Christo, uh, Christo Maves, loves this fragrance, and I absolutely love uh, his reviewing style, I love his taste, and so I actually blind bought this based off of his uh, recommendation, not to me uh, personally, but after seeing his review. Some years ago, um, there was a split, and I got 10 ml of it, and um, I just recently, maybe a year ago, finished it up and then bought this bottle. This fragrance to me, um, for one, Come to Garçons, uh, it's my second bottle from them. I did used to own the original Play, which I went through the bottle of and they no longer make, which is very sad. But they're a really interesting brand. They come up with these kind of bombastic ideas. I love a lot of their concepts and their bottles. This one being no slouch, as Mark would say. So, black, what does it smell like? Black has a interesting note list, um, if you go to Fragranica and check that out, but, simply putting, I think that this fragrance smells like this. Pepper, a very faint black licorice note, smoke, burnt rubber, incense, and then it kind of tones down to Basically, it's just a peppery incense. Um, at first, this fragrance, when you spray it on, is going to be pretty harsh. It's going to smell like tarmac. If you have ever been around road work in the summertime, it really reminds me of tarmac. But the interesting thing is, it's very cold. It's not hot. It doesn't feel hot. Like, there's heat coming or radiating from this fragrance, like you would think with tarmac. The best way I've described this several times to several people that have asked me about it is if Dracula's... Uh, road was being paved and you were resting in his basement in his damp cold basement and you could smell the wafts of the tarmac coming in through the basement window and it's mixing with the cold stone and the incense burning down in that basement that's what it really reminds me of with a pretty heavy dose of some spice yeah that sums it up this fragrance <laughs> isn't really all too versatile in my mind um, in the sense of like you could use it for something where you're dressing up or because it's not subdued enough to be like, hey, overdose with the sprays and go to school or wear a bunch of sprays and go wear a tux. I feel like it's a decent enough choice for a daily casual fragrance, but because it is so abrasive at first and kind of unique, um, I don't see it as being something like a signature scent. This is a fragrance for you to enjoy and for you to kind of make a statement with, in a way. The best way I could describe this in comparison to something is, you know, this this is in the same category as something like Bond Number no. 9 Silver Factory or more like Amouage Interlude Man, where you're wearing something that eventually smells pretty good and can come down uh, closer to the skin throughout the life of the fragrance, but at first is just really bold. The longevity of this fragrance is about eight hours on my skin. Uh, the projection is moderate, and after a couple hours, comes closer to the skin. Um, and, you know, for the price point and the longevity and the projection and the sillage, this is a nice little gem. It's actually really, really, really interesting. It's unique, and it is pretty much the definition of niche in my mind. Come to Garcon's Black would get a solid eight out of ten for me. Um, the only reason why it's lacking a little bit is because it's... It, it, while it's unique, it does have kind of only a certain parameter of where you can wear a fragrance like this, in my mind. Um, or maybe I'm just not confident enough in the fragrance and myself to be wearing it just kind of casually as much as, uh, say, something like Reflection Man. But yeah, it's a, it's a really unique fragrance. It's perfect for a cold day. It's perfect for a rainy day. And I highly recommend that you check it out. So that being said, I hope you all enjoyed and I will talk to you all soon.